Some more of my lovely sausages and mash. Oh, no more for me, thank you. Oh, Carrie? That was very good, but I've already had two helpings. I'm full. Me too. Well, at least somebody wants some. Cheer up, my dear. This should be something of a celebration. I'm sorry, but there doesn't seem to be much to celebrate. I still haven't mastered that spell. Of course you have. You just need a little more practice, that's all. Do you really think so? No doubt about it. Meantime, there's nothing to liven the spirits like a little master juggling. Right, Charlie? Go on, then, Gav. Give us some juggling. Very few better than me at this. All you need is 20 years of practice and a touch of genius. <laughs> Never happened to me before. I don't usually juggle with perhaps under my feet. <laughs> Look, she's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Hobday, do come in. Oh, I can't stop, my dear. I've just come by to bring you the good news. Good news? Yes, yes, Mr. Bisselthwaite brings the milk, you know. Well, he's promised to take the children in. He and his wife have got that farm, just the place for growing children. Put a bit of colour back in their cheeks. Why, what's the matter? I thought you'd be pleased. You told me yourself that you were much too busy. You had no time to take care of children. Well, circumstances have changed somewhat. That's right. We've got a dad now, Mr. Brown. Paul, Miss Price, is this true? Of course. You do want him to stay with us, don't you, Miss Price? I suppose I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> what about him? What do you say about it, Mr. Brown? Well, it's all rather sudden. <laughs> Don't quite know what to say. Oh, then I'll leave you two to talk it over. Oh, I'll come back in the morning. Yes, good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. It is true, Mr. Brown. You are going to be our father now, aren't you? Well, we... We are rather... Rushing things, aren't we? Perhaps Mr. Brown has other things besides you children to think about. Yes, well, as a matter of fact, I, I should have left ages ago. I, I, I must get a train back to London tonight. It's, uh, it's rather an important matter, as a matter of fact. It, it, uh, I'd like to tell you about it, but it's uh, a little bit hush-hush, you know. Sort of a secret. <laughs> well, uh, if... Uh, if I've been any sort of help to you, I'm pleased. You've been immensely kind. Thank you. I've enjoyed being with you. Perhaps it's been good for all of us. Will you be coming back? Someday, my dear. I uh, certainly hope that we shall meet again. Uh, someday, uh, when all this war business is over. I see. And then perhaps I shall realize my fondest dream. Eglantine and Emilius. Illusionist extraordinary. Just think how that'll look on the poster, huh? The children are going to miss you. You really think they will? Yes. Well, I shall miss you. All of you. If I don't go now, you might never get rid of me. Goodbye, Carrie. 
Must you really go? Yes, I, I think it's best for everybody. Goodbye, Paul. I still think you should be our father. <laughs> Goodbye, Charlie. Do you want me to come down to the station with you? No, no. No, you stay here and look after everybody. Goodbye, Miss Price. Goodbye, Mr. Brown. <laughs>